Lokesh Kanagraj definitely gave one of the best films of 2022 in the form of Vikram. The structure, the story, the direction and the integration of music blew me away. Vikram created a vibe that I had not experienced in a long long time. The testament to the vibe of the film is the fact that Kamal Hassan is the protagonist of the film so I'm pretty sure he's not going to die in the first 5 minutes. Yet his face reveal during the interval block generated so many emotions in me that I really regretted not watching this film in the theater. Here after watching Vikram and hearing a lot of praises of Mr. Kanagraj, I decided to dive into his filmography and I was not disappointed at all. His direction style, his story structures and his signature biryani will be discussed in another video. For today we will rank four of his films according to my preference. Before we start ranking the film, let me clarify that Avial will not be counted because it's not a full feature film, it's an anthology. And secondly, these are my opinions and preferences. Yours might differ. Feel free to comment them down below. At number 4, I have Master. Master did have an interesting premise and could have been a very good film, but Master dives too much into catering to the star power. Like one of those annoying uncles who was supposed to stay with us for 2 days but has been here for the last 2 months and eating away all your maggi. The slow motion sequences in Master go on for too long, long enough for them to lose all of their charm. Master does build up interest in the first half of the film but just like dating in 2023 it really starts to test your patience and you just want to get out of it as soon as you can despite giving us a good antagonist played by Mr Vijay Sethupathi the film does falter in its editing and pacing and the ending feels really rushed and just like your girlfriend with everything in the relationship you are left pretty unsatisfied at number 3 i have managram in hindi for some reason it's called dadagiri 2 Anyways that's off topic. I really liked Managaram because I'm genuinely a very big fan of movies in which different characters and stories take place and intersect at some time. And Managaram really did deliver a very nicely structured film with a good story. However, just like my relationship with my father, the film manages to walk on the thin line between being very good and being very annoying due to the lack of communication between the characters. And just like the sex life of a couple who has been together for too long, the action in this film is very little. and quite poor but since it's mr kanagraj's first time i'll give it a pass because the story and the structure of this film is really good now kaithi is where lokesh kanagraj really leveled up as a filmmaker both in terms of visuals and in terms of direction and storytelling as well as scale despite being a fairly simple story the direction in kaithi really makes it a thrilling ride and the heart of the story the father daughter bond and the longing is beautifully portrayed by mr karthi And at number 1 I have Vikram. I have praised Vikram in the intro of this video already but just like the breakup sex with my girlfriend I want to do it again. The story of Vikram is a combination of many different stories that we have seen in many other movies. But what this film manages to do is set a vibe of its own. The separate themes created for each character by Anirudh Ravichandran is a big factor. in setting up that vibe vijay sethupathi and fahad fasil definitely bring out their a game and the epilogue of this film really excites you for the loki verse with leo on the way i haven't given myself permission to know too much about the film is it set in the loki verse is it separate i don't know yet but i will find it out when it hit the theaters